Hello my friends, uh, just going to make a real quick video just of a couple of things, but it's very important with having the eyesight to see the events in the world as they come. Now, I had just recently, um, I had spoken about Donald Trump and this impeachment thing and how one of the heads seemed to have a fatal head wound, but was then healed and how I had understood it to be he was going to be impeached in the House, but the Senate would uphold that as one is a fatal head wound, but then it's healed. And we're still waiting to see what's what's happening with all of that. Um, but the other piece that comes with that, whenever you see America, when you see the beast, when you see it roar, when you see it speak, when you see it talk... When you see those that masquerade as though they are righteous, when you see them talk, and I'm talking about the church, when you see all of these things speak, you need to be able to go into scripture and see what it pertains to. That's applying the scriptures. That's what the blind cannot do. The blind cannot apply the scriptures. They can only regurgitate it. As those who have vision, those who have insight, those who know God, we apply the scriptures to everything. And I had just seen a couple of days ago where there was a quote, and it was by Donald Trump, and he said exactly something that is written in Daniel. He literally says, I will do as I please when it comes, he's talking about the trial. But it was in quotation mark, I will do as I please. And if you know scripture, of course, you know, go back to Daniel and you see the Antichrist, the, the representation of this man, this king at the end times who leads the countries into destruction. You will see a very specific quote in Daniel saying that he will do as he pleases. And you can apply the scriptures and see, well, okay, that's got to be something then that God is pointing me to see. Now, for three things, you have the dragon. The dragon is Israel. You have the beast. The beast is America. Western civilization, everybody is connected to America. So if you live in Canada or you live in the UK or whatever the course is, you're all connected to America because you all came out of the same head. All of you, all of us, we all came from Western civilization. It just happens to mean that America is the leader, the ruler, the dominant nation at the end. America is the beast. And if you want to talk then about the whore that rides atop the beast, you can look to Paul and you can see it. And I will keep doing what I am doing in order to cut the ground from under those who want an opportunity to be considered equal with us in the things they boast about. For such people are false apostles, deceitful workers, masquerading as apostles of Christ. And no wonder for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising then if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their end will be what their actions deserve. Paul is speaking to your church at the end. Understand that Jesus tells us there will be Jews who are not Jews but are a synagogue of Satan. What will Christians be? Christians are not really Christians, but they follow the synagogue of Satan. The woman who rides the beast with all of her ornaments and scarlet and all of her harlotries and all of her blasphemies, that woman is all 40,000 of those Catholic, Christian, Protestant, um, Evangelical, whatever you want to call them, all 40,000 of those denominations. That's the whore that rides on top of the beast. Because the beast represents all of those who are connected to America, the whore that rides upon them. That's your Christian church. And Paul exactly says what will happen to them. Let their own deeds come on their head, which is what they will receive. And the Lord is going to separate all of this out very clearly. And we can see it now very clearly if you have the eyes to see. For instance, you have a Protestant and you have a Catholic. And then you have all these other sections that come out of Protestants. You have all these sections that came out of Catholicism. You have all these different sectors. You can line up every single one of them on the left-hand side. They are masquerading as a servant of righteousness. Meanwhile, they will divide and they will say, well, we hate Catholics, but you know we're Protestants. We know God. And then the Catholics will say, well, you don't know God. We've known him since the beginning. Peter was our leader. 
put it all on the left side. These internet churches that all claim to be ministers of righteousness, but yet you can tell that their deeds are filthy by what they do, blocking people from commenting and being nasty to each other. You can see by their deeds who they are, my friends. They masquerade as servants of righteousness, but they are not. They are those who call themselves Christians, but are not Christians, but are a follower of the synagogue of Satan as they worship the dragon because they worship the beast. They worship themselves, my friends, all of them. Put them all up on the left side. None of them are built by God's hands. Take one thing and put it on the right-hand side. What is that one thing? What is the temple of Christ? What is the body of Christ? Where is his temple? You can put yourself on that right side if you know and believe the truth and walk with it and love it. Yourself and your own body, that's the temple of Christ. He's in your mind. He's inside of you. You don't need to go anywhere to see him. You don't need to, to walk a mile to see him. You don't need to go into a, a building to see him. Nothing built by human hands is of God. Those are all things, put it on the left-hand side. Now, God will influence everything built on the left-hand side for those who love him on the right. So I still use technology. I use all the things that everybody else uses, but I have eyesight, which shows a different language, and that language is spirit, and that's what I'm learning. I'm a child of spirit. I'm just beginning to really learn the language so I can pick up and see everything. And why? Because I will sit on the right-hand side while everything else on the left claims to have their own truth, and I will speak for the truth, which is, my body is the temple of God. Your body is the temple of God. And we need to go nowhere else or know no one else in order to plant our petitions at the altar, which is in our mind. This is what it means to walk with the Lord. And then he will take everything that's on the left-hand side for you. And he will show you everything on the left as to what it actually means on truth to the right. So we have this uh, Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes. We have all the abominations of the earth. The woman drunk with the blood of God's holy people. Those who bore the testimony of Jesus. Those are people who truly knew him. She holds a golden cup in her hand filled with abominable things and the filth of her adulteries. This woman sits on top of a scarlet beast covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. Everything God is experiencing and saying about this woman sitting on the beast is what Christianity has become. My friends, it's not Christianity. It's the woman who rides the beast. I am a Christian. I know God. I sit with truth on the right-hand side. I am a Christian. I am a child of God. Everything else other than that, in your own temple, in your own body, anything else other than that, throw it all on the left-hand side. That's all part of who this woman is. The beast out of the sea, the dragon that stood on the shore of the sea, the beast coming up, all of that is a descendant of that came from the Jews. Judaism became Christianity, and it both were the same thing. Who did Jesus spar with when he walked the earth? The Jews. Who's he going to spar with when he comes back? Those who call themselves Christians. And I'm not saying those who God has called a Christian. God has called me a Christian. He has said, you are a Christian, and he has proved it to me. All these other ones, they call themselves that. Watch how this all is going to play out, my friends, because it is going to be quickened. You will see it one day to the next come like a roller coaster. Watch and see without the plank in your eye. Take let God remove the speck, because he'll remove the speck. I can't see either. I'm also blind. I live in a dim light in the world. I'm blind. But he's taken the plank out of my eye to see everything else on the left. Whenever he comes back, he'll remove that speck, and I have faith and trust and believe he will. He'll do it for you too. But you have to first remove the plank, which is everything 
thing other than given to you by God. By what someone says and knows, do you know if they are a child of God or not? You will hear me and you will understand I speak nothing like any of those other ones. And it's because I might be the only other child of God you have run into in your life. Because we are so, so few and far between. We are truly but a remnant in this world. See it, my friends. And once you see it, you will never again see the world the same. God bless.